that's a good question. Um, I guess whatever I'll do next. Yeah. Anything in mind? Uh, nothing I would share. Yeah. Who are you guys? Who? The Nocturnal. What's that? It's an online publication. I met you at the premiere seven years ago in New York. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pleasure. He's it's fresh from Israel. Just flew in. From Israel. Too. Oh yeah, I see. I, yeah, I see the garb. I I, <laughs> I made that conclusion. Yeah. Thank you. So Forty-four years end of an era. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels okay. Yeah, no problem. What's the most fun thing about working on the show? Oh, I was just like telling somebody over there playing that idiot, you know, that that uh, TV guy who I play. That, that's that's the most fun. That's a lot. People yelling me, cursing me, all that is always fun. Um, yeah, I'll miss that. I'll have to start getting in fights on the street and having real people curse me from now on. Yeah. Be fun. Yeah. What would you say is the biggest difference between working with HBO and other networks? Well, the only other network I've ever worked for is NBC. And uh, obviously there was a, uh, there are censorship issues with NBC. So um, yeah, there's no comparison really. Can we possibly see you in any stand-up down the line or? I, I, I don't know, it's, it's possible. Fresh. It kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies, but maybe, yeah. 24 years, end of an era, how does it feel? Ah, it feels every season's the final season. This one, I feel like we're like, uh, the neurotic cat that had nine neurotic lives. I think we just got to the ninth life. All right. And what was your favorite moment of the season? Mm. This season, there are so many great moments. There are some scenes with JB, Leon, and Larry that are some of the funniest we've ever done. And some scenes with uh, Vince Vaughn, Freddie Funkhauser, and Larry that will make you die laughing. Well, we can't wait. Yeah. So uh, what's, what's going on with you personally? Any? Uh... Here's the thing. We are shooting more of the season next week due to the strike and actor availability. So we're going to have a production meeting at the bar at the premiere party. Hilarious. Yeah. All right. Do you know what you're drinking? Uh, whatever the first AD and the producer buy for me. All right. Probably tequila. What's the fun thing about working on the show? You know, Larry uh, said when we came back for season 11, he said, it's, I'm back because it's much more fun to play Larry David than it is to be Larry David. But the most fun thing is to actually work with Larry David. It's been a blast. Because you're the nocturnal, I'm gonna give you two questions, go. End of an era, 24 years, how does it feel? Good, I'm very happy we're ending. And that, and by the way, I loved every second of it. I love everybody involved with the show, but it's time to end. And I know people who are fans don't want me to be saying that, but it's true. What's giving you Cirrus these days? Cirrus? I had knee surgery and my back is killing me. So that's the service that I'm getting. You look amazing. No, thank These you. kicks are amazing. I have is it a Jewish website? Uh, no, but it's right You don't often hear Cirrus. My name's Shlomo. So, <laughs> Shlomo, you never hear Cirrus in a question. <laughs> Pleasure. Thank you. What can we expect for this season? Um, hilarity, funniness. Uh, it's a really interesting premise this season. I'm not going to give anything away, but it's a really, really interesting premise. Did you have any favorite moments that you could? Oh God, I'm trying to remember it. It all blurs. I mean, yeah, I mean, there was, there were so many. We, we had, we there, actually, I had one moment. Susie has a new business uh, coming up. Venture? A new business venture. Yes. That was one of my favorite moments. Amazing. Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> I'm so curious, how do people uh, greet you on the street? Do they use a lot of... They, they shove a phone in my face and they say, <laughs> It's my husband, call him a fat fuck or something like that, you know, and I'm not always in the mood. <laughs> right, you might be in a good mood, you might be having exactly. a beautiful day. Exactly, exactly. Amazing, well, you have very sparkly eyes. <laughs> thank you. So thank you. So thank, thank you so, you so much. much. Hey! Your hey. energy is amazing. Oh, thank you so much, you know. So what was the best thing about working on this show? Oh, man. The best thing about working on this show, I think, is growing uh, as an actor, as a comedian, as an improv performer with these greats, these people are amazing at improv. And and to be able to jump in there um, and not miss a beat with them. Um, the only, only my first day working with Larry, you know, it was me coming from uh, writing and, you know, bit parts on SNL. Um, there's a rhythm to sketch. And my first scene ever with Larry, we started the scene, 
He said, hey, cut, 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 cut. And Larry said, do it more real, not sketchy. And I said, gotcha. He told me that one time and I got it. I knew exactly what he meant. You know, I knew exactly what he meant. And that, that's what I mean by you, you can work for a check, but you can work to grow as an actor, as a person, uh, build new friendships. There's, you know, there's a different connection to what we give people, um, our fans and, and the laughter and all this stuff is genuine. You gotta love what you do, you know? And, and I don't want people to think that this kind of stuff is like winning the lottery. It's not, it's true work. It's true work, man. And, and, and you gotta get a piece of yourself every time they say action. Or every time you step on the stage, you gotta get a piece of yourself. And you leave there depleted because you've given people therapy. You know what I mean? That's laughter. So beautiful. You know I mean? Such a love filled yeah, message. Now, good. is there anyone that doubted you back in the day that you had to just like, you know, give them a call when you got this part? Um, you know what? I, I've always moved to the beat of my own drum. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I never worry about anything. Uh, you know, I just think that you get where you got to go. Um, you know, a lot of people told me down south when I was in, I live from North Carolina. Um, you do, you'll say, where's the nearest store or the nearest gas station? They'll say, uh, about, <clears throat> about an hour, depending on how you drive. Right. right. Depending on how you drive. I love that. That's good advice. Isn't that all. great? Yeah, depending good. on how you drive. That's life. You're a slow driver, it's going to take you two hours. Wow. If you drive, you put the pedal to the metal. 45 minutes. You know, yeah. you can be there 45 minutes, depending on how you drive. Okay. I think that's what life is, I think. Oh, well, life is very much about depending on how you drive. Hell yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Your yeah. family's gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Your soul. Everything. Oh, thank you. We can't you. wait for it to see what, what's next. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't, I don't, I don't trust Larry. <laughs> how was this most recent season? Yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> I haven't seen much yet, so I'll tell you. But uh, it was a lot of fun filming, and they always do such a good job. You're an improv master. I mean, well, what's your secret? I, I wouldn't say that. It, these guys are so easy. It's just getting a chance to go and, and laugh and pick fun little situations to make a big deal out of. So, wow. Any of advice fun. to aspirants? <laughs> to, to, uh, to aspiring people like you? Oh, no. Like anyone, just keep trying to get better and enjoy it. You know, whatever you do, really worry. Think about how you feel and just keep trying to grow and, and take chances with uh, whatever it is that you do. Nice. Well, you look very chic Thank today. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. You know, 24 years end of an era. How does it feel to be a part of such a, an iconic project? Oh, no, it's incredible. I'm incredibly proud to get to be a part of it. Um, my season, it was crazy. I feel like I was so young when I did my the episode of Curb that I got to be on. I played Mel Brooks's assistant. It was hilarious. I got to work with Mel Brooks, wow. Larry, and Jeff. And um, it was one of those once-in-a-lifetime moments as an, a in an actor. You hope for that. So it's, it's, I'm incredibly grateful that I got to be a part of it, let alone, you know, when Cheryl, we were with Cheryl when she got the, the, uh, the call that she was doing the, the one-hour series Whoa. with Bobby. I mean, with, wow, well, with Bobby, pardon the... <laughs> the, the, the Freddie and Slip, Freddie and Slip, with Larry uh, at the Groundlings. We were all wow. sitting at the Groundlings, and she came in. She's like, "I got it. I'm doing this thing opposite Larry David." And we were like, "That's great." And then we lived on Spalding by the um, by the farmers market when she found out that she was doing the series. Wow! And that was we were babies. You know, we were just kids trying to get into the Groundlings main company, and it was crazy. Uh, so it's pretty exciting to, it's been 25 years since before they shot the pilot. So it's really been like... A quarter of a century. Uh, yeah, and our friendship's been 30 years. So wow. it's it's pretty amazing to witness. Incredible. And yeah, I'm sure. Do you have any sure. comedic influences that you think oh of? Oh my God. Well, top? well, I would have to say Madeline Kahn, uh, specifically... Um, what's up, Doc? Oh, like, yeah. oh, she was so funny in that. I mean, she's so funny in everything, but all of the stuff that she did with Mel Brooks. Um, I mean, I'm so old. No, all of my not. idols are Classic. are like Betty White and uh, Carol Burnett. Yes. And, uh, oh, and, and, and Kristen Wiig, yes. you know, as, as far as like a peer. Um, and all of my Groundlings friends. I love Melissa McCarthy. I think she's 
fantastic and um, but Sally Field oh, yes my thing in particular Sally Field not that you asked was that I love that she's so funny but also is so dramatic yes you know? it, right like yeah playing it straight can be the best thing sometimes absolutely it, you're it, incredible it, at that I mean, uh, wow what a talent thank you that's very kind you're very kind the community feels real here like it feels like a genuine community within this project like yeah. it has soul it does yeah there, nobody's here just for like I mean, we were here long before Instagram and Twitter, and you know what I mean? Like, it was like, it was just word of mouth. You're like, I heard this guy who's killed it, you know, on this show, and and then you're, it was phone calls, you know? Wow. That's why back when the agents would call casting directors, and you would just hear about stuff, and then word of mouth, so. Wow. It really is like a good community of actors that have, um, wow. I think they'll have an, like, in, in, a, a permanent bond forever. That's beautiful. The greatest thing that was JB's, uh, JB's mustache. Tonight. <laughs> yeah, so. It's really fly. It's fantastic. It's masculinity at its best. It's masculinity at its best. <laughs> Thank you so All much. All right, I'm going to go take care of our kids. I say our kids because it's like Cheryl's kids. Oh, well, you look fabulous. Enjoy Thank the you. evening. <laughs>